Let me tell you something that really chops my ass. Hey, I'm Billy Burns. Here's what chaps my ass. I live in Seattle, and I noticed it's become kind of a hipster thing lately for people to walk around with this uh, this device. That it's got liquid in it, and it, it you smoke it like a cigarette. It's got steam comes out of your mouth. Um, they call it vaping, as, as in vapor, I assume. I, I haven't actually tried it myself. A couple of drags off on one time. Uh, it, it's a way to deliver nicotine and still... Uh, do your oral fixation, you know, for smoking. And I'm a smoker myself, an I, I, unrepentant smoker, you know. I, I was the guy who would light up on the airplane even when I was in the wrong section, you know. I would go in the restaurant, just sit down and start smoking, and we'd just come up, and you can't smoke in here. And I'm like, well, why not? Well, because it's not our policy. And I'm like, well, policy? So that tells me it's arbitrary, because policies are always arbitrary. So you're not really offering me any reason why I can't. And in fact, I seem to be doing pretty good at it. Here I go, puffing away. I mean, I was like dice clay. Hey, you don't like my fucking cigarette? Yeah, well, fuck you, bitch. And, you know, and that got harder and harder as time went on, and more and more the cops got involved. Oh, yeah, he was smoking in a no-smoking area. And now it's like city parks. Anywhere inside a building, your own car, all airplanes, trains. I, I don't know what's left. Uh, my own backyard, it's all fenced in. That's about it. You know, at work, <sighs> my own company, no smoking anywhere on the site. I mean, I got to get in my car and drive off the site to smoke a cigarette. You got to be kidding, dude. <laughs> well, I just don't. I just say fuck it and go and sit in my truck, light one up, you know. It's my truck, I just roll the window up and ignore people. Kiss my ass. Uh, I'm driving this motherfucking American-made truck with a 5.7-liter engine. I'm smoking a goddamn camel, and you can kiss my ass. <laughs> you know, I just... I mean, I was a guy that... I used to put a fifth of liquor in my locker in high school and just go get drunk during the day. Drunk as fuck and go to class. fucking mess. I mean, I wasn't one for the rules, you know? They were meant to be broken. And I still believe that. I just do it a little more constructively now. You know, I, I instead of just randomly breaking rules just for the hell of it, I actually look at the stupid ones and go, why is that a rule? Is that helping anybody? Is that really a benefit to society? Is this under the general welfare clause? Which doesn't mean people should just generally go on welfare either. And it doesn't mean there's a general named welfare that should be promoted to chief of staff, promoting the general welfare. No, it means if it doesn't benefit everybody, it shouldn't be done. This is my interpretation of the U.S. Constitution. So if you take a tax, well, let's tax uh, Asians. They make too much money. And we'll give that to uh, Guatemalans because they are disproportionately affected by uh, income inequality. Oh, suck my dick. That's not what it means. You know, Asians work hard. That's why they got so much goddamn money. You know, that, that's not a racial statement. That's a statistical fact, dude. You know, they punish them. They tell them they, they lose 50 points when they apply to college. This is racist bullshit, you know? Okay, Quang applies for school. He's got better marks than Tyrese and Jose and Chad the white boy. Bingo, he gets in. He earned it. Don't like it? Well, tough titty. It's not T-ball. We're learning, we need engineers here in the United States to build government bridges that keep falling down. You know, give the Chinese guy a chance. They're good with math. I worked with a couple of them. You know, I'm pretty slick with math myself. You know, I'm whitey McWhitey, but I can do math. I'm at least half German. We're pretty good at that shit. It's just fucking ridiculous. So this, this vape thing, everybody's vaping now. So they've got vape stores. I mean, it's a booming business. And it gets people to quit smoking. And people say, well, you don't know what's in that. Well, I don't know what's in an onion either. I couldn't give you a chemical breakdown. I know it's a carbon-based life form. It's a fucking onion. I ate it. Whoopee. You don't know what's in that vape. Well, I don't know what's in the city water either, but I drink it. It tastes okay. Well, you don't know what's in there. That's not an argument. That's a non-argument. That's just stupid. Well, there needs to be more research. Says who? The arbitrary, it's time for this, it's time for that, people? Uh, so anyway, they try to do, well, I'm going to put a 92% tax on it. Oh, give me a break. I'll talk about protecting your tobacco tax. This is what this is all about. Do you think these big government progressive redeemers really give one flying fuck about your health or your smoking or your not smoking or health outcomes will be better if we put taxes on it, plus I get a bunch of money? Yeah, I see. So it's a win-win situation. 
Either you tax the living fuck out of the vapes, or people continue to smoke, and you tax the living fuck out of the smokes. Oh, so no matter how this fucking rolls out, you get a bunch of money. I see. Well, it's for the common good. Yes, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Just like traffic tickets, they're good for everybody. They make the roads safe. That's why we hand them out. That's why they cost 150 bucks. Because you're giving $150 worth of safetyness to the government when you pay that traffic ticket. And that'll unkill some babies, black babies from poor households. Oh, yes, you're saving, saving, saving. Oh, it's the safetyness of the goodness of the safeness. And it's green, green and green, I say. You know, just fuck off. Just fuck off. That's, I'm, I just, I'm done. I'm done. Please, please.